This is an 18th century mahogany serving table. Serving tables were originally intended to go into the dining room and your food would be served from here over to the main dining table. And what is special about this? Well, it's mahogany and you've got this fabulous veneered top, the flame veneer. And the veneer is actually on a, on a solid piece of mahogany. And the reason why they did that is to stop the table from warping. So the cabinet maker was thinking ahead all the time. When we look at the piece as a whole, we've got this wonderfully carved frieze. And then in the centre, we have this central tablet, again which is veneered, and with these beautiful cascading, all hand carved cascading of harebells, centralised by a little carved urn. It stands on four square tapering legs, which is headed by this lovely little roundel. And that roundel is on the front and also on the sides. The square tapering legs end on little block feet. And again, on the block feet, there's concealed casters underneath. Because the cabinet maker again was thinking, if this table needs to be moved, it could be moved around without undermining the piece as a whole. It was designed by Thomas Chippendale in around 1754. That's when his director was published. But I would actually date this 20 odd years later, but the 1770s, 1775. And this was when Robert Adam wanted, because he worked with Chippendale, wanted this restrained look, this more elegant, smart look. Rococo was out and this was the look to go for. You could put this in a hallway, you could put this in a smart drawing room with a pair of lamps or some art. It just works really well and the juxtaposition of having the new with the old works, I think, extremely well. It's a great piece and it was, I say, under the influence of the master, Thomas Chippendale.